Hi, this video is about some new bench equipment I've gotten for the shop. Generally speaking, most of the most of the boards that we work on, most of the intercoms that we work on are through hole components and they're all fairly good size. And my go-to soldering iron tip, which fits in my Heiko FM2027, which is the, the, the handle for my FX951 soldering station, is this. This is a 1.6 millimeter chisel tip, and that works fine for 90% of what I work on. The nice thing about the FX951 is there are a lot of interchangeable tips. You can go all the way up. Here's a really large chisel tip here that you can use for larger size components. There, I do have a variety of conical tips. A lot of people don't like conical tips, but sometimes they come in handy. There's just a wide variety of tips that I have for this. But my 1.6 millimeter chisel tip is my sort of go-to tip for most things that I work on. Previously, I did a video about how we're ramping up to work on the Newtone NM series, which are the same as the Music and Sound DMC series of intercoms. And those boards have a lot of small surface mount components. And something like a 1.6 millimeter chisel tip is just way too big. Previously, I've also done a video. We bought an Amscope benchtop microscope so I can actually see what I'm working on. And when you're soldering the pins of say a 80 pin quad flat pack a 1.6 millimeter chisel tip will cover three legs wide on a small microcontroller and that's just not really good enough it's just really too big it's kind of like trying to solder with a 4x4 fence post it's just way way too big so I decided to get this this is a Heiko 2032 this is a micro soldering pencil and the thing I like about this is that it's compatible with my FX 951 soldering station. You can plug it right in so I don't, I don't have to buy a new soldering base station. I can use the one that I have. This is designed for small surface mount work. It does have interchangeable tips just like this one does. So these just pop out. So they're quick change, easy to deal with. This is sort of the same idea. These also come out. You can pull them out and they make a variety of different shapes and sizes and not having done a lot of micro soldering before I've never had a soldering iron this small before I decided to start with this tip this is a T30 D06 this is a 0.6 millimeter chisel tip so it's one millimeter narrower than this one and it's small enough that under the microscope on an 80 pin quad flat pack you can literally solder one pin at a time it's that narrow and it's ideal for what we're working on so that's a big help uh, i'll have a video coming up shortly where i show how to use this of course when you're soldering on really small components and you're using a micro soldering pencil, you also need much smaller solder. So this is my normal solder. This is Kester. It's one millimeter, which is a good size for through hole parts, but it's way, way, way too big for something like the fine pitch of a microcontroller. Again, it's like soldering. It's like having a one inch piece of rope in there. It's just way too big. So. I searched around to find out what would be a good choice and what we ended up with was this. This is also Kester. This is 0 0.01 diameter. So it's one quarter of a millimeter in diameter. So it's one quarter the diameter of this stuff. It's like soldering with a little tiny piece of hair and to put that in, in in a size that you can maybe more closely relate to it's about the equivalent of a, an uninsulated piece of 30 gauge wire so it's just the smallest tiniest little it's the smallest solder that Kester makes and when you use it under the microscope it seems to be exactly the right size you you would be surprised how huge this looks under the microscope and the other thing about really small solder like this is it's really, really expensive. It's way more expensive than this. This one, this is a one pound roll of the one millimeter stuff and this costs about $45 or so. If you bought a one pound roll of this, it's like $300. It's really expensive. 
and it will last probably a lifetime because I don't know how many feet are in a one pound roll of something like this, but you don't need very much of this when you use it. It just goes a long, long ways. So what I decided to do, I searched around and there's actually a whole market of people who sell this and they sell it in 10 foot lengths. So this is 10 feet of it in a little packet. I bought this from a fella on eBay, actually. He's a local guy. Well, not local. He's in the U.S. But he sells it 10 feet at a time. Now, I know if you cost it out compared to a one-pound roll, it's about four times more expensive than buying a one-pound roll. So if you bought a pound of it from this fella, it would cost you like $1,200. But on the other hand... I don't want a pound of it. I don't want to spend $300 on a roll of solder. That's kind of silly. So I actually, and it's reasonably priced per 10 feet. So I bought, I think I bought 50 feet of it. And if you buy 50 feet, he throws in 10 more feet for free, which that, that helps a little bit. But uh, this should last a long time. I've used a little bit of it so far, a little bit being out of 10 feet. I think I've used maybe like six inches of it. So it just seems like it's going to go and go forever. So it's just one of the newer things that we have, my little micro soldering pencil here and I've used this a little bit so far and it seems very handy it's very lightweight it's very maneuverable so it's easy to use the tip is a good size I might actually buy another tip that's just a little bit smaller than this one I think they have one that's 0.4 and that would be good for even smaller packages the other thing which we may invest in in the future is Heiko also makes a pair of soldering and desoldering tweezers so they're heated tweezers and you can put them on either end of a surface mount component close against it heats up the joint and you can lift the part off the board to make that investment first i have to know that we really need those because i'm not sure if we do yet or not and the other thing is it requires a different soldering base station however they do make a base station that can accommodate the the soldering tweezers and the micro soldering pencil at the same time it has two plug-ins on it so that may be something that we get in the future but for now sharing the fx 951 works out just fine so i just thought i'd give you an update about that if you found this interesting or perhaps helpful please give it a big thumbs up on youtube because that always helps if you like our channel there'll be a banner right here it'll show you how to subscribe go to our youtube homepage, click on the bell or on the wheel put in your email address and every time we post a new video you'll get a notification and you can watch it that's all for today see you on the next video